Connecticut election quickly approaching. Yesterday, viewers asked us what those two referendum questions will mean at the polls. The referendums, if passed, would amend Wisconsin state constitution. Our Wisconsin State Capitol Bureau Chief Vanessa Kelson breaks down what's on your ballot. We want to know we've seen a draft ballot for the April 2nd primary, and when you get your ballot, don't forget to flip it over. Depending on where you live, these two questions may be placed on the back of your ballot instead of the front. If passed, they'll change the way elections are run. Let's start with the first question. It would ban the use of private donations for administering elections. So this is money that private foundations give to city clerks and city, other city election offices to spend for the purposes of helping people get to the polls and cast votes. The referendum was inspired by what Republicans call Zuckerbox, grants given to more than 200 communities in Wisconsin to aid election administration, like buying equipment and sending mail, funded by Facebook's founder, Mark Zuckerberg, and his wife. So every election, we see people standing in line for six hours or eight hours in Milwaukee to vote. Um, just to take one example, because of the shortage of polling places. Starting in 2020, some groups, private groups, have stepped in to fund elections in those areas to make it more possible for people to vote. Republican State Senator Eric Wimberger, the author of the proposal, says this outside money has to go. You want people to vote, but to do it in a way that is using the levers of government to get out the vote in particular areas over others is the problem. Wimberger says there's no need for private donors. So far, I haven't heard anything from anyone um, asking the state for supplemental funding because they're lacking it. Let's talk about the second referendum. It would mean only election officials designated by law could, quote, perform tasks in elections. But there's questions about what perform tasks means. It's so vague and so broad that we're even uncertain as to whether or not we would be allowed to do something that's not defined in statute. Collecting ballots, delivering ballots, potentially it could go as far as preventing people from driving people to the polls. The proposal's author says that's how constitutional amendments are written. If you get too specific in the language, then you can find another path around it. This is not the first time Wisconsin's constitution has been up for a change. The document has actually been amended nearly 150 times over the years. Live in the studio, Vanessa Kelson.